what's up everybody it's July 13th 2021 up here in Big Bear Lake and uh, we're getting some pretty pretty loud thunder and a friend of mine sent me a picture over by his place and it was hailing over there the ground was white so we're gonna head that direction to see if we can catch up with some of this it's coming this direction I'm, I'm pretty certain because our monsoonal moisture uh, does flow from that direction so we shall see So this is like the opposite, you guys. In the winter time, the storms come from that direction. You hear that? Holy crap. <laughs> We're gonna go over here then. That's the best thunder we've heard yet this season. And it's right here, guys. We're gonna drive right into it, okay? All right, cool, man. Woo! So happy. This makes me so happy. I don't know why, but it does. And I just started watching Sons of Anarchy last night, and I'm hooked. I'm hooked. And my, my 2020 fat boy is in the shop getting a bunch of upgrades right now. They had to repair something with my Screaming Eagle Stage 4 kit, which it's under warranty, so they they replaced it and uh, replaced what was wrong. And then since it was already, since the engine was already apart, there were a bunch of upgrades that I wanted to do, like cosmetically, that would save me $1,000 worth of labor if the engine's already apart. So I told them to go ahead and do it. So I have no idea what they're doing to my motorcycle, but uh, it's going to be better, I guess. Literally, like, I'm kind of embarrassed because I don't know a damn thing about bikes, really. Except I have, like, the nicest Harley Davidson anywhere around. It's, I mean, no joke. Like, the best upgrades you can possibly put on a brand new Harley Davidson Fat Boy. It's just amazing. I'm very, very blessed, man. Very, very blessed. Even more blessed that my mom financed it for me. I mean, geez. Anyway, we should be getting some thunder in a second here. Right, right over here is where the lightning's gonna be. But it is pretty much above us, so let's, uh, I don't know. Sorry for yapping my mouth so much. I know I yap a lot. But we're gonna go find this weather, guys. Just hang tight. All right, so I stopped it while we were here at the stop sign. But look at this. I guarantee you we're gonna get something right over there, but it's the bigger, nastier stuff's here. And you can see just how high these tops are going. You can't really tell, but you can see that they're just uh, extending up into the atmosphere pretty pretty high. All right, cool. Cool, man. So right there is, I bet, where we're getting this thunder and lightning, just from that little bit right there. So we're gonna see, hopefully, hopefully we get something nice. You can tell it's raining right there. Or hailing, one of the two. So let's, uh... Alright. Telling you, we should be driving right underneath, right now, of this best stuff here. Alright, we're gonna do this because I don't want to have to deal with getting over later. All right, let's see. Look at that. It's just so pretty, these clouds, man. Oh, this girl has a mouth on her. Jeez. I hope it doesn't demonetize this video. And she's got a little kid with her, and she's just F-word, every other F-word. Wow. I shouldn't judge, but I would never, if I had kids, ever behave like that. I want kids so bad, man. Hey, do you like kids? Do you like kids? All right, look at it. There's a thunderhead right there. And it's a lot nicer when we get thunder without much rain when we get like dry thunderstorms because then you can hear the thunder a lot more. The sound traveling through the rain definitely uh, slows it down. It slows down the sound. Not slows it down, but it dampens it. Ha! Huh, literally and figuratively. So my buddy sent, oh my gosh guys, straight ahead, that's 
that's gonna be nuts. So my buddy sent me, he's, he's my golf buddy. Uh, oh, there was lightning right there. Listen, listen for it. Listen for the thunder, it was right here. Man, that was bright too. Oh, this is awesomeness. Awesome sauce. I was gonna turn left here. There's a few ways to maneuver this stoplight, you guys, because it's a very long light. So there's ways you turn right here at the light and make a U-turn right away, and this goes go straight across. Um, and there's there's so you know once you learn the timing of these lights, it really does help you get around a little better. Some people might be like, what, a, what like what an idiot, you know, like just like you're not supposed to if you're making a right turn at this light here, you're not supposed to turn through the gas station to like cut off that area you're not supposed you can you can get a ticket for that isn't that crazy weird but yeah you can get a ticket for doing that and i i never i never realized that but anyway i'm gonna shut the heck up for a minute or two my vapor oh here we go we're getting some here we go starting to get rain and watch it's gonna come down hard but just out of nowhere and over here in the baldwin lake area you guys where it's really just dark straight ahead that's where we are headed once again for you guys who don't know this area over there where those houses are is my favorite area in this town in terms of just beauty and peaceful just i don't know it's really pretty over there like to go somewhere where we're not going to have a lot of you know what i have an idea maybe we'll go into like upper moon ridge that might be cool oh yeah oh yeah okay keep your eyes open right here guys i'm telling you just keep your eyes open right there it's gonna happen in the next minute. And it's gonna be nice. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, my friend. Come on, my friend. Ah. Just nasty weather. This is beautiful. Guys, these are these are like these are like the thunderstorms that you get in like Arizona this time of year and, and later. There's some thunder right there. Okay, so I don't know if I'm screwing up if I turn right up here, but I really want to turn right. I think what we're gonna do is turn left. Just do the opposite. No, actually no, everyone's going left, we're gonna stay straight. Oh, no, we're going right, forget it, I screwed up. I wanted to stay on the main drag because there's less trees to block all the view. But we're gonna head up here. We're gonna head into Upper Moon Ridge like I wasn't going to. And don't be surprised if we do hit some hail, guys. That's my whole goal here is to find, find some heavy thunderstorms here. And it appears as if we're, we're actually heading in a good direction, so. This is called Division Road, you guys. Division Road. Like the Division Bell. Oh, nice car. Dang. Division. Come on, baby. Let's get some lightning here. Come on, man. I'm not to roll out my window and just keep it down. Let it rain in here. I don't give a dang. 
There's the thunder. It was to the left, so we're gonna go to the left once we get down here. You'll see, we're gonna go up into Upper Moon Ridge right here. know there's good thunderstorms right now but for some reason you always seem to screw up when you try to do the timing right so hopefully so i'm going to show you how to get into upper moon ridge from this road this this road right here is called McAllister. just like uh the Favorite houses in the whole town. We just passed them. But yeah, guys, this is this is epic. It's getting heavier. That's uh, leading me to believe that we are going to get hit a little harder. So here we go. We're going to make a left. Start our trek into Upper Moon Ridge. Turn right here. Something's gonna happen right here. So we're just gonna drive up to the top and then come back down. Hopefully you guys get to see some lightning or something. I'm doing my best. I went out right at the right time. I, I knew what this little storm was capable of. So that's why we're out here. And then my friend randomly sent me a picture of it white outside his house. It was completely white because it was hailing. this I always forget I think this is called Butte B-U-T-T-E Beautiful Alright Alright it's picking up a little bit now so we're gonna make a left and then a right we're gonna turn left here on Nana or uh, on Mira and then a right on Villa Grove there's, oh wow. Over there is looking pretty nasty right there. Wow guys, hopefully we can get some of these views from up here like that, man. This is so beautiful, you guys. I am so happy right now. Can't wait till we get the snow though, huh guys? What, what do you guys think? Like, hey, so it's like mid-July almost. Um, August, September, October. I mean, we could technically get our first snowfall within 90 days, you guys. It's probably not going to happen, but we could. Okay, here it goes. Just keep your eyes peeled up here. We're going to get some lightning, guarantee you. It is coming down, man. Cats and dogs, man. Wow. My car needed a wash. Holy moly. I told you we would find the heavy stuff. I knew we would. Man, we need this so bad, you guys. If we had the whole town raining like this, like for a few hours, just get a couple storms like this but with like continuous rain like this for a couple hours uh, that lake will be full completely full that 
bus. How cool is that, man? Yeah. Jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. So we're just going to go straight, I guess, right? Yeah, we're going to stay on Villa Grove, yo. So we're going to be heading back into the storm, as you can see by the heavy rain and the darkness. Look at that. So look for flashes, you guys. Look for flashes. Because this lightning is right above us. rain I've seen here in a long time. Man, this place is so gorgeous. It'd be nice to have a girlfriend to like experience this with and just have a good time. I'm tired of being alone. But maybe that's just a reflection on me. Maybe I'm just like not meant to be. I, I have no idea. But oh, it's getting heavier. I think we're getting into a real heavy part of the storm and some hail will be coming here in a moment I bet. Oh, look at we got a little flood right here. Yeah, baby. Holy crap. Listen for thunder. Wipers are on as fast as they can go. Holy crap. Wow. Look at this. I just saw a big flash. We're gonna go down the Klamath route, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll go down this way. Forget it. There's a few different evacuation routes you can. Well, not a few, but we're we're, we're taking the evacuation route. Look at it, it's flooded down here. I can't believe I'm saying it's flooded in Big Bear. Unbelievable. Guys, so much of this is gonna flow right down to the lake. I love it. I love it. Woo! Wow, look at this straight ahead. Look at this. Ugh. Nasty. Holy crap, guys, this is nuts. Look at this river in the street. Look at that. Dude, that's insane. Woo! Oh my God. Woo! I'm loving it. What's up, dog? Oh my gosh, dude. Well, let's get this puddle right here. Why is this so much fun? I don't know. You can't hardly see anything because it's pouring. Dude, this is awesome, man. As I said, we don't need many of these storms to fill up the lake. We just need these storms. If this was snowfall, we would have already had about a foot. I'm, I'm not joking. Because we get about a foot of snow for every inch of rain up here. Wow. Wow. Look at that street. It's dead. Oh, man. Woo. Wow. 
bad, man. This place is getting battered right now. It's the one thing we got to be careful of, guys, are serious mudslides. Not necessarily in town. I'm talking like when you guys are driving up and down the mountain. This is the type of weather that that really, really creates some serious, serious, just dangerous conditions for driving. So let me do all the dangerous driving for you guys. And then when you guys see that you're comfortable or whatever, or you have any questions, just hit me up so I can try to help you out the best I can. But for me driving through all of this, it's, I just like doing it because it allows me to show you guys what's going on. So if you aren't too comfortable in this type of weather, you're not gonna be you know, surprised or forced. Because I know a lot of people are terrified to drive these, these mountain roads. Oh, these poor guys. Ah, uh, these poor guys. <laughs> oh, that's such a bummer. But it's kind of like Hawaii. You'll drive like a scooter and then in, at the same time every afternoon you'll get like a, a little a little shower. Not many thunder showers though, but you'll get showers pretty much every day. Oh man, straight ahead is Bear Mountain. You can't really see too well because of all the heavy rain. But yeah guys, this is, this is epic, this is nice. Now we're turning right on this road right here, which is called, I, I wanna say, it's called Sunset. It turns into Moon Ridge Road once we get to this stop sign. So if you go straight through this stop sign, which we are, it's Moon Ridge Road. And the zoo is on the left-hand side. You'll be able to see the parking lot right there. For all you mommies and daddies who wanna take your kids to the zoo. Cruise up here, man. It's, it's a great zoo. Um, I, I haven't been to the new one, but I was at the old one, and the old one I loved a ton. And they said this one's even bigger and better, so exciting. I'm just roll down the window for a minute, take a look at my golf course. That's where I play all the time, where it's pouring right there. Wow, just beautiful, man. And then clear skies over here, like right above my house, it's like clear. That's so funny. Anyway. Sorry about such a long video, you guys, but man, this is insane. This is awesome. Our town needs this so much. I wish it was a little bit closer to the lake, the really heavy stuff, but it's okay. Because, yeah, it's going to run off to the lake, but keep in mind, like, a lot of it's going to get captured by the, by the, you know, by the plants and grass and, and ground that, that needs that's thirsty, so it's not all gonna make it down to the lake, but that's why I really want it to be storming right above our lake, just so all that water goes into the lake. Yeah, guys, we're on Moon Ridge Road, and they're, they've been doing construction on Moon Ridge Road for a little bit now. I'm not sure what they're doing, but every year they do something. Um, unlike the maintenance crews down the hill who do stuff at nighttime when it's not like working hours and busy time for everybody else this town they do all the work in the middle of the day and then they'll close down the roads going up and down the mountain in the middle of the day um, so it ruin everybody and just piss everybody off I don't know why they can't do all the work at nighttime with those big bright lights that they use you see those on the freeways down there all the time but anyway this is it guys much love and respect I hope you guys are having a good day uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Anything changes, we get like some more heavy thunder stuff and I got you, I got you.